Hello everyone. So I had a little bit of difficulty kind of exploring what the basal ganglia actually looked like and because it's a very 3D structure and so I thought a good thing to do would be to kind of uh, go through a 3D model of uh, what the basal ganglia look like and then look at some 2D cross sections kind of like what um, Gensler was doing with us tonight. So this is an iPad uh, app that's free that has the brain in it so I would recommend it. Um, you can spin it and let's look at exactly where the basal ganglia is. So there's the basal ganglia in all of its glory. Uh, it's pink here. And so what are the different parts? Um, we have the caudate nucleus, which is this purple thing that spins around like this. Uh, this here would be the head of the caudate nucleus. Um, and so that would be the head, this would be the body and the tail, uh, although those are not really functional definitions. Uh, the globus pollutus uh, is this underneath structure, so you can see it right here, uh, underneath the putamen. And then uh, at the end of the tail of the caudate nucleus, we have the amygdala, which is not highlighted here, uh, and then underneath this all we have the thub subthalamic nucleus and the substantia nigra. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit on these. So here we can see a better view of the globus pollutus, and we can see that there are actually two. There's an internal globus pollutus, an external globus pollutus, and then here we can see the putamen, or, yeah, putamen. This is the caudate nucleus again, and then this is a chunk of the caudate nucleus called the nucleus accumbens. So I think this, oh, whoops, that's my friend. Um, I think this is a pretty good way to kind of learn uh, how this stuff looks and kind of where it's situated. And remember these aren't, you know, real structures. They don't look purple and they're just collections of gray matter. So now let's look at what this might look like. Oh, before I talk about that actually, I wanted to talk about where the internal capsule is because I had a hard time figuring that out. So what all the books describe is that they say that um, the interior capsule uh, separates the thalamus from the lentiform nucleus. The lentiform nucleus is the, um, the, the putamen and the globus pollutus together. So it's this chunk. This is the lentiform nucleus right here um, and on both both sides, so there are two lentiform nuclei. And so the internal capsule separates the lentiform nucleus, this chunk, from the caudate anteriorly. So I'm gonna use uh, blue to represent the internal capsule and we can think of it running in and out of the screen here. Uh, so it would separate the head anteriorly, the head of the caudate nucleus from the lentiform nucleus, and separates it from the thalamus posteriorly. And we're going to be able to see that better in cross sections here. But you can imagine how there's this white fiber running through it. So here's another good view. Um, so we're looking at a coronal section. Uh, and here is the ventrolateral nucleus of the thalamus. So here's the thalamus in the center of the brain. Uh, and here is where we can see the basal ganglia, this area here. So I'm going to clear this is basal ganglia. This is the caudate nucleus. Uh, this is the putamen. And this is the globus pollutus with this being the internal segment and this being the external segment. This is the substantia nigra, and this is the subthalamic nucleus. So you can imagine that 
uh, this area here would be, oh, one second, um, this area here is the internal capsule um, separating the uh, the lentiform nucleus, this stuff, from the thalamus and separating the lentiform nucleus from the, the caudate head anteriorly. Um, the caudate nucleus and the putamen uh, together are also called the striatum. Uh, yeah. Now we can look at a uh, axial view. Um, this is from Netters. I really like this. Uh, and here we can see, so these are two different cuts. A is uh, more superficial, so B is a deeper cut. And so in A, what we can see is the head of the caudate nucleus. So this is, oh, sorry. I want to get a different pen here. Uh, this is the head of the caudate nucleus, and this is the head of the caudate nucleus. Uh, and so this would be the putamen, and then this is the globus pollutus, with again the internal segment and the external segment here. Uh, and so then here is the tail of the caudate nucleus. So what you can imagine is coming out of the plane, we have the tail and it's going over here and then connecting to the head, right? So if we were to take a, an axial cut uh, higher up from here, um, maybe, you know, a centimeter more, then this whole area would be gray matter uh, that would be the, I guess, body of the caudate nucleus. Um, and then we can see the internal capsule here, uh, which I'll do in a different color. Um, so this whole area is internal capsule and you can see what I'm saying about how the anteriorly the internal capsule separates the lentiform nucleus this area these two structures combined from the head of the caudate nucleus and posteriorly it separates the lentiform capsule from the thalamus so I hope that this makes some sense. Um, it's it's difficult to get uh, and it took me a long time, but I'm just not good spatially. Um, it, this this image also has a separate image that shows where the cuts were made. So this is the A cut, this is the B cut, and this is where they come through and cut um, in the uh, the basal ganglia. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about, about how when we're seeing the head of uh, the caudate right here and the tail of the caudate, we're just getting that slice. Um, so this is the tail, this is the head, so we're just seeing this slice here and slice here. So I think that's pretty cool. And then uh, to take, oh uh, here. This is a, one one more view, and then we'll talk about vasculature. So I, I really like this. This is from the um, Neuroanatomy Through Clinical Cases. And so we're looking at a lateral view. This is anterior. This is posterior. And what you can see is the putamen. And uh, it is covered with internal, or this internal capsule is coming through all these holes in the cellular bridges, right? And then in dashed line in the back, you can see uh, the, the caudate nucleus. So here's the tail, here's the amygdala, here's the head of the caudate nucleus. And then you can see the globus pollutus, uh, or globus pallidus, and the thalamus in uh, orange. So here, I think this is a good view. So the putamen is the most lateral uh, asp is the most lateral structure here and we can switch back and forth here so here's the putamen again and then uh, if we were to remove the putamen we would reveal the globus pollutus uh, and so they're showing this the the here the temporal lobe is transparent uh, so this line 
this line here um, is not really there. That's just the outline of the temporal lobe. And then the pink is the globus pollutus, the external segment, and then the darkened part is uh, lying behind the page, and that's the internal segment. And here you can also see what I'm talking about, about the internal capsule. So anteriorly, the internal capsule separates the lentiform nucleus, which is the butamen, which we just removed, and the globus pollutus from the head of the caudate. So here's the head of the caudate. And so it's behind the internal capsule here and then truly there. Uh, and so you get this area of internal capsule is separating these two structures. Whereas the thalamus is in this orange color uh, behind here. And so this area of the internal capsule is separating the, uh, the lentiform nucleus from the thalamus. Uh, and then we, if we were to remove the um, globus pollutus, we would be able to just see the hole, and this is all internal capsule. And this actually looks a lot kind of like the photo or the diagram that uh, Gensler was showing us of all the different colored axons protruding. Uh, so that's a good thing. And then if we were to remove the internal capsule, we would see the structures underlying them. Um, yeah. So we're not really clearly able to see where the different structures of the basal ganglia are here, but this would be the caudate nucleus, and then somewhere around here would be the putamen, the external glob uh, uh, globus pollutus, and the internal globus pollutus. And these arteries here, um, the lenticulostriate arteries, are some of the most commonly damaged arteries in hypertensive disease. So if these were damaged in our patient, then we would have loss of function um, in the, the basal ganglia, and which could explain some of our symptoms. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.